makeup and the moment to apply, my name is not Anna Shami with disability. So my topic for this public speaking is about technology makes people smarter or lazy. Basically, technology acts as a two-sided coin in shaping human behavior. It, en it enhances our efficiency and productivity, but also makes us more dependent on technology and, and less self reliant <coughs> According to the conversation, it has the paradoxical effect of making individuals both smarter and younger, contributing to collective intelligence. It allows us to do more while understanding less, increasing our reliance on others. Today, we will discuss how technology can make us smarter, lazy, and ways to find a balance between its benefits and drawbacks in our lives. Technology has the potential to make us smarter by boosting our cognitive abilities. It provides access to vast information, enhances our focus on complex problems, and improves memory, attention, creativity, and problem solving skills. Tools like online, tools like online games, puzzles, and pieces serve as very stimulating exercises, making us more alert and mentally flexible. On the other hand, uh, a recent study conducted by by the University of by the University of Cincinnati found no scientific evidence indicating that technology harms our biological cognitive abilities. Instead, it suggests that smartphones and digital technology are the predominant ways of cognition. The report argues that technology can enhance memory, attention, creativity, and problem solving by offering tools that challenge and stimulate our brains. One, acknowledging potential negative effects on mental health, the report emphasized that technology's impact depends on how we use it and other factors. In conclusion, technology is not making us stumble or smarter, but rather shaping our cognitive processes differently. Technology has the potential to make us easier by diminishing our motivation to learn new skills. It provides shortcuts and distractions that reduce the need for personal effort. For instance, using technology for navigation, calculation, spelling, and translation eliminates the necessity to learn skills like reading maps, reading maps, uh, writing correctly, or speaking other languages. Additionally, technology can foster addictive behaviors and disrupt aspects like sleep, brain development, and emotional intelligence, further contributing to a sense of laziness. The impact of technology on our intelligence and motivation is shaped by how we use it, the type of technology involved, and other life factors. Using technology as a tool can enhance learning and performance, while relying on it as a crutch may lead to avoidance of challenges. Moderation and purposeful use of technology are key to positive effects, whereas excessive and directionless use can be the Detrimental. The choice to use technology to complement or repress our human abilities further influences whether it contributes positively or negatively to our lives. In my opinion, technology has made us smarter in some ways, but does it in others? For example, we can now access vast amounts of information at our fingertips, but we may not be retaining that information as well as we would if we had to memorize it. Similarly, we can now communicate with people all over the world instantly, but we may not be developing our interpersonal skills as much as we would if we had to communicate face to face. Overall, I believe that technology has the potential to learn smarter, but only if we, we use it in a way that enhances our lives and makes us more productive. It's up to us to strike a balance between using technology to our advantage and not allowing it to control us. What do you think? Do you believe that energy is made smarter or less?
For example, it can help us remember things and solve problems more effectively. For the question 2, the statement talks about technology in two ways. On the good side, it can make us smarter by giving us quick access to information and helping us communicate globally. On the downside, it might make us lazy by offering shortcuts by like using GPS instead of learning to read maps. Just like us use using a chat GPT to short ways uh the assignment. So it depends on how we use technology for learning and improving or just taking the easy way out. Yes, I'm thank you.